Here we have been given a segment A B and a point P on it and we need to find a perpendicular to AB passing through P. Now we already know how to draw a perpendicular bisector but P being an arbitrary point we can't use that construction. So what we will do we will take a sub segment of AB around P so that P becomes the midpoint of that segment and then we will use the construction for perpendicular bisector. So we will start by first finding such a segment around P. So we will place the compass at P then take some arbitrary distance in the compass say this much 60 units and then I am going to mark two points around P on AB. So for that I will use this compass draw an arc here and draw an arc there. These two arcs essentially indicate two points say C and D as shown here which are equidistant from P and because P is now the midpoint of CD if we draw the perpendicular bisector of this segment CD it will pass through P and it will also be perpendicular to AB as required. So that's the strategy. So let us now draw the perpendicular bisector of CD. For that we move the compass to C and we must take distance little more than uh, half but 60 is exactly half so let us bump it up to say 80 or something and draw arcs. So with C as a center the tip of this pencil I will draw an arc on one side of AB and the other side of AB. So we have these two arcs. Then we are going to move the compass to the other end D and do the same thing. So with D as the center with the tip of this pencil I will draw intersecting arc on both sides these two arcs. These essentially give us the intersection points E and F which could be joined to get the perpendicular bisector EF of CD and we can show that information here but uh, what is important to us here is that EF is perpendicular to AB as well and it passes through P as required.